Well, hello YouTube, it's your girl Jeanne coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be about the 10 flankers in my perfume collection that I think are better than the OGs. So if you guys are interested in seeing what these fragrances are, then go ahead and just keep on watching. Alright y'all, so first things first, stop what you're doing, stop, and leave me your scent of the day down below. I would love to know what you guys are wearing today or tonight whenever you are watching this video. Also, if you are new to my channel, hello again. My name is Jeanne. Welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so, so much for clicking back onto another video. I truly, truly appreciate you guys' support. So if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from... Moi. Now let's hop into today's video because I have some really nice picks for you guys. Some scents I haven't talked about in a while. Most of these scents, a lot of you guys already know what they are, but yeah, let's just hop into it. As you can tell, my hair is different. A lot of you guys ask me about my hair a lot, so I'm going to get my hair straightened this weekend and trimmed. <sighs> I really need to trim, but if you guys are interested in seeing that process and all that, I'm going to post a video next week about it. So I want to give you guys a little bit more variety on this channel, but this is still a fragrance channel. Don't get it twisted. But I know a lot of you guys ask about my curly hair, and then some of you guys are going to ask, you know, how I switch back and forth from straight to curly. So that's just a little, a little announcement. And also I have blue nail polish on my nails because we had our gender reveal this past weekend. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I'm having, then I'll leave my Instagram in the description box and of course on the screen so you guys can follow me on Instagram. Instagram go look at my recent Instagram reel so you guys can see what we're having a boy or another girl All right enough of that Let's talk about this first scent which actually is one that I got for Mother's Day And I'm gonna have my what I got for Mother's Day video come after this video So on Thursday be on the lookout for that But this scent is what I got for Mother's Day and I think that this scent is a lot better than the OG And this is Gris Charnel Extract de Parfum you guys spoiler alert. I like this better than the OG I I still love the OG would keep that in my collection I'm not gonna declutter that one but this one this one was what I was missing now I don't want to spoil everything so I won't go into too much depth about this fragrance because I am gonna do a dedicated review but this scent is so pretty it is similar to the original but it has just this sex appeal to it it has a little bit more depth to it Gris Chanel Extrite is a nice spicy woody slightly sweet scent it has a vanillic touch it has this very nice fig note in there so you get a little bit of a creamy fruitiness which is really really pretty it also has some patchouli so it adds some depth adds a little bit of earthiness to the fragrance which I absolutely love the main difference I would say between the OG and this one is that the OG is a little bit more airy I do really enjoy the OG but now I can see how deep this fragrance is how rich this fragrance is compared to the original Gris Charnel so this scent has very similar notes to the original so you of course get that cardamom that black tea and that fig and then as the fragrance dries down in the mid you get that iris and you get some vetiver so the iris to me adds a little bit of a powdery touch but it's not too powdery at all it just adds a nice element to the fragrance and then the vetiver adds this like slightly green but woody aspect to the fragrance it does have a little bit of a masculine edge but I wouldn't consider this fragrance to be completely masculine I would say this is perfectly gender fluid just like Gris Charnel is I think it's just you know you, it can go either way depending on who's wearing it and then in the base you get that vanilla you get some tonka beans you get that patchouli you get the cedar wood so I think that like overall this fragrance is very nice it does have a deeper more richer feel to it compared to the original Gris Charnel so this is my first pick and this is Gris Charnel from the house of Beauty and I do think that this scent is better than the original this next scent is one that I got in my collection during the Sephora sale and I'll leave that haul up in the eye in the sky for you guys so you can see what I picked up but this fragrance I think is a lot a lot better than the original in my opinion because the original has this like artificial vibe and the scent that I think is better than the original is Burberry Her ET this is a very beautiful scent this was a fragrance that I really really enjoyed in the month of April and recently and I really think that this scent is a lot better than the original. Burberry Her EDT is a nice, fresh, fruity, sweet, 
musky floral scent you get a little bit of a rosy touch you get some white florals in there as well so I really like how this scent overall is just very bright and fresh and fruity and happy and floral but it's not overly floral at all I really think that this scent is a pretty girl scent this scent is one that's very effortless it's one you can just throw on if you're dressed up if you're dressed down like this is just one that just smells good so on the opening you get some pear you get some black currant and you get some strawberry and I really think that those fruity notes work well together because you get that juicy fruitiness that's where all the sweetness comes from in the opening it's just those juicy fruity notes and in the mid you get some row and in the mid you get some rose and you get some peony and some lily of the valley so to me peony and lily of the valley really adds like a watery freshness to fragrances but that rose adds that beautiful like feminine touch to the scent which I absolutely adore I love rose and fragrances I don't think rose is too mature but sometimes it can go mature but in this fragrance it just adds a very nice feminine touch and then in the base that's where you get that musk and that cedar so for me the musk is kind of like a fresh musk it's not like a bo musk at all it really keeps this fragrance very uplifting and bright and fresh and the cedar just adds a little bit of depth to the scent but it doesn't overtake this fragrance at all I absolutely love this scent overall I love how it wears from beginning to end and this is definitely better than the original in my opinion because to me the fruits in this fragrance smells more authentic which I find very like sexy and like flirty in the spring and summertime so this is Burberry Her EDT and I find that this scent is a lot better than the original in my opinion now the next fragrance that I'm going to talk to you guys about is one that I actually haven't spoken about in a long time and I haven't worn it in a while and I really like this version better than the original just because I feel like it has a little bit more of a feminine touch to it so this scent is Moula Moula Rouge Extreme from the house of Byron Parfums they actually updated their packaging so this scent in particular comes in a red bottle it's really really cute but I have the older bottle and this scent is absolutely stunning it's very unique it's very bold but it's so pretty this is a nice sweet fruity vanillic scent it has a cherry vibe to it you get a little bit of spice you get some oud in there as well and you get a nice gooey sticky caramel note it's a very pretty scent and I think that with the gourmand notes it really adds a nice touch to the oud it's not too overbearing it's very wearable but a little bit goes a long way with this one and the original the reason why I prefer this over the original is because of the fruity notes that are in the opening so on the top you get notes of cherry strawberry and raspberry they're so delicious and juicy I think the cherry kind of adds like this tartness to the opening as well which adds to the complexity of this fragrance and in the mid that's when you get that very nice sticky gooey caramel and you get a ginger note as well so it adds a little bit of spice to the fragrance and then in the base that's where you get that vanilla that ooh that patchouli and that sandalwood so you get that woodiness you get that patchouli which adds a little bit of earthiness to the fragrance but that vanilla really keeps that sweetness going throughout the fragrance so you'll get the sweetness from the top to the base it's absolutely stunning and I think that you should try this scent if you have not already if you enjoy gourmands and if you like a little bit of oud this is like the perfect combination so this is Moula Moula Rouge Extreme from the house of Byron Parfums now next we have a scent that is no stranger to my channel this fragrance is one that I absolutely love this is a celebrity fragrance that I think everyone should own and this is cloud 2.0 intense from Ariana Grande this is a lot better than the original in my opinion I much prefer the intense version because of just how you know creamy it is I do have a dedicated review comparing this fragrance to the original and to Baccarat Rouge 540 the Eau de Parfum and the Extracted Parfum so if you haven't seen that video and you want to see my thoughts I'll go ahead and link that video up in the eye in the sky for you guys to check that out after this one some people prefer the original because it's more airy it's a lot lighter this is a little bit deeper in my opinion which is why I prefer it I can smell it more I think it performs better and I think to get your money's worth this is the way to go so cloud 2.0 intense is a nice creamy lactonic sweet woody scent you get a little bit of a musky touch you get a little bit of a lavender touch as well this also has a note of coconut which kind of adds to that creaminess that like tonic vibe which I absolutely love so on the top that's where you get that pear that bergamot and you get some lavender what I get the most is the lavender and you get that citrusy bergamot I really enjoy the opening of this fragrance some people think that it's masculine but I don't think so at all personally I think that this fragrance is extremely feminine because of how creamy and sweet it is 
this. And then in the mid, that's where you get those gourmand notes. So you get that coconut, you get that praline, you also get that whipped cream. So it's a creamy, you know, coconutty praline type of vibe. I really like the mid of this fragrance because that's where you get that gourmand sweet creaminess from the scent. And if y'all don't know, I love gourmands. I love smelling edible. And that's what this gives me. But it's more of a, you know, cozied up Netflix and chill type of vibe. That's how I feel about this fragrance. And then in the base, that's where you get that musk. You get some woody notes. You get some ambroxan and you get some cashmerian. To me, cashmerian adds a smooth element to fragrances. I think it adds a little bit of a sex appeal as well. The woodiness is not too woody, but it's woody enough to give it a little bit of depth. The muskiness really, I think, complements the creaminess of the fragrance. This scent is absolutely stunning. I love wearing this fragrance, especially if I want to feel like cozied up. So this is Ariana Grande's Cloud Intense 2.0, and I think this is a lot better than the original Cloud. Now, hopping into this next fragrance, this is one that is perfect for this time of year spring summer especially if you're going on a vacation if you want to smell like a million bucks this is the way to go and i actually prefer this over the original but i still like the original as well that's pretty much the case with the majority of these scents except for like burberry you know a couple of the other ones i'm not a total fan of the original but i still enjoy them but i like these better of course and the scent that is next on the list is a langan gold nectar look at this cute little bottle it's so cute now if you look at the bottle it looks luxurious because it is now you see there's some gold flecks in here I really like this fragrance because when you spray this scent this one and the original leaves like this really nice gold shimmer on your skin but the gold shimmers are like very very small shimmers they're not like glittery chunks it leaves such a beautiful you know glow on your skin and it also leaves a nice veil of a fragrance over your skin this is a subtle scent I wouldn't say that this is a skin scent but to me personally I feel like this is an intimate scent this is a fragrance that people will smell you if you walk by and things like that but if they get into your personal space that's when they're really gonna enjoy the fragrance on you and that's what I love about this fragrance so if you don't like to do too much but you like to smell good and you want to smell luxurious on a vacation this is the scent for you so Elangan gold nectar is your sweet yellow floral it has a little bit of a powderiness but I perceive it as kind of creamy it has a woody touch to it as well and you also get a vanillic touch with some coconut so this fragrance fragrance again like I said it's just a very nice tropical scent I love yellow florals for summertime because to me it just screams summer it screams going on a vacation it screams luxury like that's what I love about yellow florals it really really adds to that vacation vibe which I absolutely love so on the top of this fragrance you get a ton of fruity notes you get lychee you get some tangerine I'm just telling you, like, it's so many fruity notes in the opening. It's ridiculous. You also get some geranium, which kind of smells like a more green rose to me, but it's not prominent in this fragrance at all. And then in the mid, you get some magnolia. You get that beautiful ylang ylang, which is a nice yellow floral, and you get some sandalwood. So I think that the magnolia adds a very nice fresh touch to the fragrance, but the ylang ylang really adds that, like, tropical touch, that yellow floral touch that I love. It also is a little bit creamy as well, so it adds to the creamy creamy powderiness in the fragrance and then in the base you get that coconut you get that musk and you get that vanilla which I absolutely love this fragrance overall is just stunning to me it's very similar to the original but it's just more intense so this is like the extracted parfum you know version that's why it's so teeny teeny tiny but I think that this is very much so worth your time I do like the original Elang and Gold but I would say that that's a little bit more of a skin scent this projects more but it still is a very delicate scent this isn't going to be too abrasive when you you walk into a room or if you walk past someone they're not gonna you know turn up their nose because they don't like the smell this scent is a very very pleasant fragrance it's like I said very soft it's gentle on the nose but it still projects enough and it leaves a nice sillage on your skin and on your clothes this lasts for a very very long time as well which I absolutely love so you're definitely getting your money's worth and just look like again this bottle is just so beautiful it screams luxury and this is travel friendly so this only comes in a 30 ml bottle and you can put this in your handbag so this can be on your carry-on so this is the Go nectar from M. Mikalef. Next we have a fragrance that I have not worn in a very long time. I love doing these videos because it makes me reach through my collection. This scent is absolutely beautiful. Again, I haven't worn this in a very long time, but I do prefer this over the original. And this is Girl of Now Shine. I haven't heard people talk about Girl of Now in a very long time, and I'm just like, why? I do want to try Girl of Now forever. Someone said it smells like lemonade, and I was like, 
that sounds good. But this fragrance is your sweet, nutty, fruity scent. It has a little bit of a woody touch. It has some florals in there. You get a little bit of citrus as well. This scent is just so pretty. I really love pistachio on fragrances. So that's why the original Girl of Now like got my attention. I still do like the original scent, but Shine just does something for me because of that pineapple note. So on the top, you get some orange, you get some pistachio, and you also get that pineapple note I was telling you guys about. The pineapple is very ripe. It's not tart at all in my opinion. It's just a very nice, sweet, juicy pineapple. And I think that the pistachio really complements the pineapple in the opening. And then in the mid, you get some jasmine, some orange blossom you also get some almond so that's where you get that nuttiness as well so you get it in the top and you get it in the mid I think it just works so great like it's just a beautiful combination I really love wearing this fragrance as well now this is a very sweet scent so if you don't like sweet scents you won't like this fragrance at all but I do think that if you like sweet scents you would definitely enjoy it because it has that different nuttiness to it and then in the base, you get some vanilla, you get some patchouli, and you get some iris. So to me, the patchouli adds a little bit of earthiness, but not too much. The iris does add a little bit of powderiness, but it's not too much. And the vanilla, of course, just plays into the sweetness of the fragrance. Again, this scent is very sweet. I really love how sweet it is. But that fruitiness from the pineapple and also the nuttiness from the almond and the pistachio really work well with that vanilla that's in the base. So if you really like sweet scents, I think you would enjoy this fragrance if you want a little bit of fruitiness in there with some nuttiness. But I really enjoy this fragrance and I actually like it more than the original. So this is Girl of Now Shine from Ely Saab. This next fragrance, again, is no stranger to my channel. It's actually a favorite in my collection and this is Baccarat Rouge 540 Extract de Parfum. I'm just gonna let y'all know now I do prefer this over the original, but I still love the original. I think that same thing with like Gris Chanel, the EDP and the Extrite. Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrite is more deep, it's more rich, it's more, you know, heavy, which I prefer. I like scents that are a little bit more deeper. And this also has a bitter almond note, so you get a little bit of a nuttier touch. So this is just more intense. So this fragrance, of course, is a woody, sweet, nutty scent. You have some spiciness in here. You also have a little bit of muskiness, and you have this kind of like salty skin touch from the ambergris. I really love how this fragrance wears in the top that's where you get that saffron with that bitter almond again the bitter almond adds that nuttiness and it's like a true almond the almond doesn't go cherry because sometimes in fragrances almonds can smell like cherry but in this scent it's a true almond scent the saffron is spicy it's warm but it's not too spicy it doesn't make you want to sneeze which some fragrances the saffron is extremely intense and it's not that intense in this fragrance or the original Baccarat Rouge 540 but you can tell that it's there which is what I love about the scent. In the mid, that's where you get that jasmine and that cedar, so you get the woodiness with that white floral touch. I think the jasmine just adds freshness to the fragrance and a little bit of a unisex touch, so it's not too feminine, but it's not too masculine as well. And then in the base, that's where you get that musk and that ambergris. So to me, again, the ambergris kind of smells like salty skin, but on my skin, this doesn't go too salty, which I love. The ambergris just adds a different element to the fragrance. I wouldn't say that the musk is like a white musk, like a very fresh and clean musk. It it is a little bit more of a body musk, but I think it just complements this fragrance well. This is a very luxurious scent. It lasts forever on the skin. It projects beautifully on me, and I love layering this with other scents, and I love wearing it on its own. So this is Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait de Parfum from A Song Francis Kirkjohn, and I think that this is a very nice scent, and I actually prefer it over the original Baccarat Rouge 540, but I still love that fragrance. Now this next fragrance is one that I haven't worn, I think, in over a year and a half. But I'm definitely going to wear it this spring and summer because it's a beautiful scent. I think this might be discontinued and I didn't want to mention any discontinued fragrances. But now that I'm looking at it, I think it is discontinued. I'm sorry if it is, but I do prefer this over the original. Technically, the original is a flanker, but I prefer this over the original flanker, if that makes sense. And this is Angel Muse EDT. So Angel Muse is like the pillar of this fragrance, but Angel Muse, I feel thought was a flanker of angel but this fragrance is absolutely stunning i much prefer this over the original angel muse because that fragrance i don't know it's like a love-hate relationship like sometimes i'm like obsessed with it and then sometimes i cannot stand it angel muse edt is a sweet chocolatey tropical scent you get a little bit of citrus and you also get a nice woody touch which i love this fragrance overall is absolutely stunning in the top you get some lemon some mandarin and some passion fruit so the passion fruit is what makes this fragrance 
very unique in my opinion i don't own any other fragrances with the note of passion fruit so i really love how the passion fruit mingles well with that chocolate and then in the base you get some vetiver and you get some caramel so for me personally this fragrance is a nice sweet gourmand but it has that nice fruity touch from the passion fruit you also get some woodiness from this fragrance as well so overall this is a beautiful scent i really love how this scent wears but this scent is an edt so it doesn't last as long as the edp version of this but again i still love this for spring summer i still love this a little bit more than the original because it just does something to me because of that passion fruit so this is angel muse edt from the house of mugler the next fragrance that's on the list is my favorite fragrance in my collection. She gets the number one spot. If you know me, you know what it is already. So if you know what this fragrance is, comment your guess down below. I'm 99% sure that most of y'all are gonna get this right. But the fragrance that is next on my list is Selena Exclusive, of course. Like this is my favorite fragrance in my collection. So if you don't know, hi, I'm Jeanne and Delina Exclusive is my favorite fragrance in my collection. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't think I need to talk more about it unless you're new to my channel. I just cannot get enough of this fragrance. The original is Delina and I do love that fragrance. I own that fragrance and it's nice, but Delina Exclusive is just, it's just better. It's just better in my opinion. So this fragrance is a nice sweet, rose vanillic scent you get a little bit of oud in there you get a little bit of a smokiness from some incense i love the fruitiness that's in this fragrance as well i just think this fragrance is perfect like this is the perfect scent for me if i had a signature scent it would be this fragrance i love plenty of other scents in my collection but this is the one that takes the cake for me it's just it just can do no wrong she always performs she always smells good in every occasion she's just fantastic like she can go extremely luxurious she can go casual in my opinion like she's very versatile she can do day night she can do dinner she can do a concert like she can do whatever a wedding whatever you want her to do she can do so on the top you get your lychee pear and your bergamot you know the lychee is just that juicy delicious lychee that we all love in our delinas and the pear is a very nice pear as well it just adds to the fruitiness and then as the fragrance dries down that's where you get your oud your incense and your rose the rose is so beautiful this is like my favorite rose fragrance. It's just, it's just perfect. This is the perfect scent. The oud is undetectable in my opinion. I think it adds depth to the fragrance, but it doesn't give that oudy touch that oud can have. And also the incense does add smokiness to the fragrance, but I think it kind of adds to the creaminess of the scent. It adds that depth that we need without being too incense-y. Does that make sense? And then in the base, you get some woody notes and you get some vanilla can't go wrong with that i just think this fragrance is stunning it's absolutely beautiful and overall overall 10 out of 10 in my opinion a lot better than delina so this is delina exclusive from the house of parfums to marley and last but certainly not least we have another fragrance that i've talked about countless times on my channel so i won't take too much of y'all time but this is flower bomb ruby orchid from victor and roth this fragrance is stunning to me it's literally the perfect blend of the original flower bomb and flower bomb nectar it's just a nice sweet flower bomb like if you liked flower bomb but you think it wasn't sweet enough for you then you need ruby orchid because it's definitely that gal so this is a nice floral sweet vanillic scent you have a little bit of a fruity touch in there as well so this fragrance simply Simply has three notes which are peach orchid and vanilla you can't be more simple than that I think there are more notes in this fragrance but that's just what they felt like listing at Victor and Roth so yeah that's what we have but I think that this fragrance is stunning I think overall again if you like sweet florals then you should definitely check this fragrance out but it's not too sweet it's not like sickly sweet so I think this scent is very nice this could definitely be someone's signature scent I'm here for that I love having a variety but if you like to keep your collection very curated I think this is a great option to check out so this is flower bomb ruby orchid from Victor and Roth and I prefer this over the original flower bomb well that's all i have for you guys today i hope you all enjoyed today's video because i loved making it so if you are new to my channel i do quiz you guys at the end of all of my videos just to see who's been rocking with me into the end or whatnot and for today's video i want you guys to leave me the blue heart emoji because why not okay because why not i like to quiz you guys just to see how long you guys stay and if you made it to this point i'm so grateful for you guys i really really hope to see you guys in the next one and i love you guys i love you guys so so much